I've stated in prior vids that certain titles claimed by Jesus indicate his belief that he in some way shared the divine identity of God the Father. But none of those titles so far have served to in any way explain how that relationship worked. We'll now have a look at one claim to divinity that I believe does fill out that explanation. Jesus' claims to be divine wisdom incarnate don't take the form of direct pronouncements of identity. Rather, Jesus portrays himself as fulfilling a role specific to divine wisdom. Take this passage. At first you may think that the claim to be the Son of Man matters the most. It does matter, but of more importance is that by making this statement, Jesus alludes to traditions like these wherein divine wisdom had no dwelling place. In the same way, in the passages featured in the following, Jesus portrays himself as thematically acting out the role of divine wisdom, as it was portrayed in early Old Testament or other Jewish works. Although in the form of illusions, Jesus' statements portraying himself in the role of wisdom are also the claims that most clearly define how he sees himself as sharing in the divine identity. In the Jewish figure of wisdom we see a precursor of what would become Christian Trinitarian theology. You'll need to view another of our vids, one of the very earliest on this channel, to see exactly how that's worked out in the rest of the New Testament. 